Hello, Fracom Asia. So today I'm coming with a review on a product that is uh, from a fairly recent line under the Terenzi uh, umbrella. It's called Quinto Canto. Uh, Quinto referring to fifth, and Canto means part of a poem. And then these fragrances are centered around Dante's uh, The Divine Comedy. And then um, I think there are three parts, so uh, Inferno, Hell, uh, Purgatory, and then Paradise. And I think uh, the parts that are referred to are from the Inferno section. Mia culpa means uh, je suis coupable in French and it means uh, in English uh, I'm guilty, I acknowledge that I've done wrong. And is referring, actually is in line with the story, and is referring to the section uh, where the woman kisses the brother of her husband, a little dirty thing going on there. And then guess what uh, note is highlighted here? Patchouli. So um, I'm going to go ahead and then do the presentation and then tell you uh, what it smells like. So it comes in this beautiful uh, dark blue box and then um, you open it this way. Uh, you have Mia, Mia Culpa there and then just gorgeous presentation. And then the bottle does look like um, uh, the Sospiro uh, bottles. This is a little bit more elongated. Uh, and then this has a blue velvet cover on, on the bottle. You have a, a Mia Culpa there, Quinto Canto, and then on the cap as well. Just overall beautiful presentation. You have this pamphlet. And then um, at the bottom of the box, you have with love, anything is possible. So what do I get out of uh, Mia Culpa? So like the storyline, the part, uh, where it refers to the woman um, kissing the brother of her husband, uh, obviously you're gonna get again that patchouli. So you, uh, at the opening you're gonna get this beautiful wet earthy patchouli, but you're also gonna get a beautiful cedar that is back in it. And in the background you're gonna get a beautiful benzoin accord that is giving off this uh, sweet vanilla accord. Not cloying sweet, not overly sweet, just a beautiful lightly sweetened vanilla accord. That's what you're gonna get for the first 30 to 40 minutes. And then and after the 40 minutes, what you're going to uh, get is some kind of warmth that is coming from the incense note. Here, it is not incense or smoky, it just gives off uh, that light incense like that warm feeling to the fragrance. Um, you will not think incense when you smell this. Now, um, as it progresses, you're going to get a powdery accord that is introduced and then it gives off that sandy accord. If you look at the note pyramid, you're going to see that they listed sand and then you definitely get that vibe here because of that powdery accord. So overall, what you're going to get throughout the wearing of the fragrance is those main notes. You're going to get a wet, earthy patchouli. You're going to get a beautiful cedar note. You're going to get a uh, benzoin that is giving off that beautiful vanilla accord without being overly sweet. And you're going to get an envelope of a powder or sandy accord here. Beautiful, gorgeous. Uh, for performance, um, this is a good performer. I get 10 hour plus. This is with four sprays. Uh, you're going to get a beautiful projection for the first three to four hours. After that, it's going to tone down a little bit, but then it's going to be easily noticeable, especially when you move around. At the end of the day, when I um, get to my car uh, in closed space, I can definitely uh, smell this. So, And that is after eight or nine hours um, in the day. So overall, great performer there. So, as a point of reference, if you've tried um, Essence de Patchouli by Paris Monte Carlo, uh, that one is a patchouli but it has a gourmand feel. It is sweet, it is full bodied. This one is full bodied too, but then it doesn't. Um, it doesn't appear as a gourmand. It goes there with the patchouli and then the benzoin, vanilla, uh, slight sweetness, a core, but then the cedar note and then the warmth from the incense is restraining it from going gourmand which is the right balance for me. Uh, I couldn't um, bear uh, Paris Monte Carlo, it sounds the patchouli because it was too gourmand for me. This one just strikes the right balance for me here. Um, now for seasons, I would say fall and winter. Um, this is unisex, leaning a little bit masculine because of that cedar, a slight warmth uh, coming from the incense note. Um, and I would say occasions, uh, pretty much it, any occasions except maybe a, a date. Uh, it is a gorgeous fragrance as full body, but it's not cloying or it's not loud. Uh, projects nicely. And again, um, if I was going to rate this uh, based on price, quality, uh, presentation, like you can see, I'll give this easily a nine out of 10. Uh, if you think about it, I got this around $100 and uh, 
the quality of the ingredient, the performance, the presentation, and then even uh, the vibe that it gives off. So you get something at designer prices around hundred dollars, but the scent is still creative, but then doesn't sacrifice that mass appeal that most designers have. So uh, this is a win-win for me. I'm really glad I got this. Um, so uh, if you've tried uh, anything from the line uh, Quinto Canto uh, under the Tiranzi umbrella, please let me know in the uh, comment section below which one is your favorite. Again, thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and take care. Bye.